it's me again for the 17th of June. And here we go with the news for the day, starting off with BBC News UK on Twitter. I'll always start this out before it goes off on me. There we go. World Cup 2018 Brazil held to one more draw with Switzerland in E group opener. What would happen if England actually won the World Cup? It's highly unlikely that we will. But we're not ruling it out at the moment. World Cup 2018 wild celebration as Mexico beats holders Germany. Father's Day tribute to Chris Cornell. Hospitals Windsor Triathlon Cyclist Pass. World Cup, World Cup 2018 safe space for Russia LGBT football fans shut. Nature Valley Open angry Joanna Conta loses to not in Nottingham final. Please condemn Poland violence at Cycle Festival. Aquarius migrant ship arrives in Spain. And Imori Cullum, how I recovered from the lowest points of my career. Best Daddy tribute for David Beckham. Taliban rule out extension of Afghanistan Eid Festival ceasefire. Eid's father and son found dead in Huddersfield Canal. World Cup 2018, Alexander Kolarov free kick gives Serbia a victory over Costa Rica. Labour Live, how was the party's festival of politics? Newport's church fire, worshippers meet in car park. Why is everything just going up in flames? <laughs> Trees me, if you're listening, do something about it. Iceland smites Messi's hope. Messi hope. Fernando Alonso wins Le Mans 27 with Toyota. Sir Christopher Trophy supports underskirting ban. One day cup was was the share versus M. Kent. Matt Henry takes amazing catch. More diversity calls to stop top teaching roles in Scotland. Moscow crash taxi driver flees scene. Roger Federer wins Mercedes Cup for with victory over Midas Ryanick. South Africa and England, Billy Bunny Parler breaks arm in second test. Meet the volunteer team of meet team of volunteers patrolling trains and stations with the aim of preventing suicide attempts. Beyonce and Jay Z release a joint album, Everybody's Love. World Cup 2018, Frank Lampard column on England and Trinidad, Sri Lanka. Captain Dinesh Chandimal charged with ball tampering by ICC. May say she has listened to the rebels over Brexit bill. UK TV director Tesla TV's director's Tesla bursts into flames. Macedonia name dispute. Prime Minister's watch over as Minister sign historic deal. <laughs> no, they probably won't aren't letting this drop for a while as <laughs> in there with that dad of the year with his two good daughters coming in <laughs> in the background. <laughs> He's come has come up again. Man, 75 missing after family beach walk in Norfolk. A visitor to the museum about World War II's battles, Battle of the Atlantic got a big surprise when he saw footage of his father's safe return. 75, year, 75 years after he first tried to watch it. The 
NHS announce this NHS announcement is by far the biggest call Theresa May has made as Prime Minister, other than promising that Brexit will mean Brexit. A Tory leader is promoting promising more public spending paid for by more tax and more borrowing. Tweet by Nick Robinson. World Cup Gareth Southgate says England must embrace festival of football. NHS of in, in England is to receive an extra twenty billion pounds a year as a seventieth birthday present. Theresa May will say. Moscow crash taxi driver third crowd winching. We need to see how it adds up. Like says Labour's Emily Thornberry reacts to Theresa May's pledge that the NHS will receive an extra twenty billion pound a year. Nature Valley Open, Joanna Conta reaches Nottingham final. Greek Prime Minister Tsipras survives confidence vote over the Macedonian name deal. Spencer Tunic, Melbourne Woolworths to allow nude photo shoot. Not something you really hear every day. USA wins against Scotland just 30-29 as American Sun Scots to register first tier 1 victory. Cannabis oil row prompts legislation call. Spain prepares to welcome disputed Aquarius migrants. Volkswagen Beetle Mexico is enjoying love of a classic car. They climb a sea stack from a mum. Fox on a hot London roof. Trends on Twitter. Now, wildlife is very fascinating sometimes. The tarot revival thanks to Brexit, Trump and Dior. Toronto City, what will will the bike become an urban must-have? South Africa's crash in transit heists and national emergency. Italy migrants, who is responsible for helping out at sea? World Cup 2018, how will social media expect the England squad? Disabled comedian who said no to Britain's Got Talent? As the Royal College of Art, Art Fashion Department turns 70 students up to the future. Making out a living in Haiti's colourful slum city. The Titanic, the top secret mission behind its discovery. US Open, Justin Rose trails Dustin Johnson and three others by one at Shinecock Hills. Home Secretary Sergi Javid reveals moped mugging. Argentina lose against Wales in rugby to 30 to 12. As Warren Gatland's side finished on the tour unbeaten. England defeated by South Africa, marred by post match row with fans. <coughs> Hironi Messi, Argentina star says saved penalty at World Cup Hurts. World Cup 2018, Luka Modric, penalty secures 2 0 win for Croatia, Croatia against Nigeria. Recognise that one. Oh, moving on to BBC News World on Twitter. I'll try not to go over anything that we might have already seen. Trump Kim Summit Korea War Veterans question for US President. So again, dancing aboard the Aquarius as the migrant ship lands after a week at sea. Bush is asking whether Trump's promises are worth anything. I should like to think so. New Jersey Arts Festival. One shooter dead. 20 injured. 
Colombia election polls open as voters choose between extremes. Nigeria attacks blasters, rockets kill 31 in Borno State. Cambodia prints Rana Rita injured and wife killed in car crash. Now this is Cambodia we're talking about. And it's like I wasn't completely aware that it was still going up. That Cambodia even had a royal family. Yeah, and more battle raiders over Hodeida Airport. Spray prepares to welcome, welcome disputed Aquarius migrants. Nicaragua family killed in arson attack a day after ceasefire. Have all that as well. So yeah, I'm gonna say. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah, bye.